boom, coming in hot, Chichi. Yeah, you tightened up that goat, bro. You... Uh, dude, I put a little just for men on there, and uh, did it, you? It, it, it looked a little. It went. A, I think I left it on. You're supposed to leave it on for five minutes. I think I like <laughs> fell asleep for a second, and left it on for seven. It, it does. Look, it's like a nice, beautiful shade of brown. Yeah, <laughs> it's a light medium brown. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, it is very nice. <laughs> look at that thing. I, came, I met my I met my daughter at the bus stop. She goes, "Colored your beard." I go. Well, you know, I just tighten it up. She goes, wow. She, you know, she like kind of look at me. Funny. Dude, whenever I shave it, I usually shave it once a year. And my daughter, when she was younger, I'd shave it. I'd come out to the kitchen. She'd go, um, goes, can you can you go back into the bathroom and uh, put your beard back on? That's like, such a killer. Well, Jillian, I shaved it. She's like, I know. I That's know you funny. did, but you need to go back and put it back on. Oh, my God. Two days before our wedding, me and Jess went to this fancy, like, spa thing and got got uh spray tans yeah <laughs> and it was actually the same night that we were having to like i mean i didn't have a crazy bachelor party it's like me and my family and cousins and my bridal party we went to benihana and yeah. jess and the girls i think they were like stuffing we would you stuff the uh the, the gifts for people whatever that's what they did that's a, that's the extent of my bachelor party i wasn't a bachelor party guy um <laughs> but we went and the the pictures. We went out with Matt and Andrew and those guys uh, to a karaoke bar. Later, we all connected and went out there. But I got the spray tan, and I was like, "Give me the, give me the, give me the 15. And If it was like one through fifteen, I got the fifteen, dude. I look like <laughs> I look like I had been living on the equator for twenty five years. <laughs> and all the pictures from that night, it's like, well, who is that guy? And I'm like, no, that's me. I just, like, <laughs> Thank God! Just got the thank 15. God it faded. I was so worried it wasn't going to fade by like. Oh my God! Like, who's this guy just married? Anyway. <laughs> um. Anyway, hey, real quick, big news, man. My boss at my other place just got a pretty big dude. job, dude. Tony Petiti, holy cow, commissioner yeah. of the Big Ten. Now I got to bring you guys, our fans, into this thing. So I called Casey last night. I'm like, dude. You were at who? Jake's game. I was at Jake's game. I was and at Kent so, State. Yeah, Pitt it was Pitt. loud. There's like kids running around. It was, like, could, it was student night, dude. It was student. Dude, it sounded like there were like six thousand people in the, the place. Yeah. And I go, hey, Tony Petiti just became commissioner of Big Ten Network. And Sean, you thought, and I thought, you said, hey, bro, your man Chinch is now the new <laughs> the commissioner of Big Ten Network. I'm like, not even the network commissioner of the Big Ten. I mean, yeah, Ch yeah, because the Big Ten. And I'm like, and I. I my brain started going everywhere. I was like, dude, this guy is on a rocket ship to the, to, the, to the greatest career ever. He went from MLB Network to the mayor's office to the commissioner of the Big Ten. I was like, Chinch must know people that I don't even know he knows. It's incredible. And I remember I, I just kept saying, bro, that's incredible. That's, that's what you incredible. kept saying. And I'm like, I'm like why that's incredible. Are you so still going to be able this? to do that? I'm like, are you still going to be able to do the mayor's office? But that's incredible that you're the new commissioner of the Big Ten. I can't no, believe it. I do appreciate how proud you were of me not knowing <laughs> what the future was. But I'm like, I was. I don't think I, I could handle that. Dude, uh, so a lot of you people, I think I've mentioned it enough. Most of our fans know. But if you don't know, like, you're going to read a lot about this because it's a really big deal. First of all, uh, all four walls of this house were built by Tony Petiti. I will say that right now. He's one of my greatest mentors. Uh, you, you know, he taught you a lot. I mean, dude, it dude, dude, Tony, Tony, I wouldn't be at MLB Network without Tony Petiti. Right, Tony yeah. Petiti meant the world to me and so many guys that are MLB Network. He built MLB Network. I mean, built he, it they, from they, scratch. Even Studio 42 is his brainchild. I mean, just, mm -hmm. you know, Studio 3 everywhere. So everywhere. The guy's a genius. Yeah, and then he, went to, then he went to Major League Baseball. Yep. Was Rob Manfred's right-hand man. Commissioner. Helped change the home run derby. And even probably, you know, The home run derby. A lot of these rules you're seeing right now are were were things that Tony was working on when he was at MLB Network, and he, and if you're a Big Ten fan, this guy. First of all, by the way, hey, just as a side, other than being one of the greatest TV sports TV executives in history, how's your uh, law degree from Harvard? <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. like it's just, he, I, I wish him nothing but the best. Uh, I got a chance to just kind of touch base with him last night. He's exhausted, but. Uh, it's well, the a Big great Ten thing. just got the Big Ten just got a whale. It just got a whale. Right. They, it's they, got they a whale. They might not even know what they just got because yeah, know, Tony Batiti is just one of the smartest. Yeah, uh, most you know, he's just a genius as far as yeah. like you know what it goes for taking something to another level. Yeah, and uh, 
you know. Yeah, I'll give whatever. you guys so, just. So, Tony, good luck, bro. You're probably not listening to this podcast. <laughs> if you ever do, <laughs> if you good ever luck do. to Big Ten. Yeah, I'll, I'm just going to give one more quick antidote. Like, you don't see, like, the presidents of companies. You, you don't see them. You just never see, You actually don't see them, I would say, arguably, in most places you work. You will never know who it is and never know what they look like even. This dude used to sit in the bullpen at MLB Network with us and, you know, watch funny YouTube videos and sit there with us and watch games and, and talk through the strategy of the nights, especially playoff time. God bless him. Thank him for everything as true, always. And a we true wish him, leader. A true leader. Yes, we wish him nothing true but leader. the best. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Good luck, Tom. Yeah. All right. So you have like you started rattling off like ten things you wanted to talk about today. Why don't you just well, rattle well, them dude, off to, a, to the I, audience? Listen, this is why baseball is the greatest sport in the world because they play every night, and every then we night. get a chance to talk about it, yeah. which is incredible, you know, which I love. And then we get to talk about awesome stuff. <laughs> um, Luis Arise, who obviously was it, won the batting title last year for the Twins, then was in a big offseason trade for Pablo Lopez who's now one of the top starters for the Twins. It's worked out for both teams. Hit for the cycle last night. First Marlins player to ever do it. Yep. They've played 4,700 games, and it's the first time this has happened. And, and that's the last team, too, right? I think that's the last team in Major Correct. League Baseball. Um, so that's incredible. Congrats, uh, Luis, for that. That's unbelievable. So that's first cycle Marlins history. My cousin Jimmy will be happy. He's a Marlins <laughs> fan. Nice. Um, four, uh, four homer night for the, Mar- for the Rays, I mean, 11-0, and 0, Chinch. 11 and 0. Oh goodness. Yeah. So they're, they're really good. Otani <laughs> had a nice night, punched out six. Jordan Walker, man, stands alone now. 150 some plus years. Major League Baseball stands alone at 11 games to start his career. Ted Williams got to 10 to start it. Jordan Walker, 11. Yeah. The only one on the list now that's 20 years or younger. What's your longest hitting streak? 21 games. Okay. He did it in a seventh inning. He did wow. in the seventh inning. Think about that. You got two up bats. You're over two. Your whole mindset's a little bit different on hitting streaks. There's right? no doubt, bro. I still remember in that 21 game hitting streak. Two moments I had in that 21 game hitting streak. Um, one moment, I believe we're with playing the Mets. I was over three, not having a great game. It was like probably Wait, at case, like. Case, hold on one sec. Hold on. From Big Bex, how are you? Hi, how are you? I am good. I know you said we don't have to call back. We could text you, but unfortunately, we're, we have a landline. Oh, that's okay. fine. That's fine. Well, only, only the service guys can text it. I don't know what oh, no problem. The scheduling program is. So I just wanted to let you know I did get your message. They should be there for around like 12, 1 o'clock. Oh, that's perfect. Also perfect. I a note on your account, so it would always come up to just knock on the door first because you have dogs. Awesome. Thank you so much. Looking You're forward so to welcome. it. You're welcome. No problem. Have a great day. All right. See you. <laughs> Who's that, Chinch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, you got, you got the we dogs. can keep this in. Because you got dogs, she said. <laughs> Wait, no, we're not going to put this in. Those yeah, ones. we are. Yeah, we are. We're going to keep this in. Oh, what are we? The, who's coming to your house? The pool, guys. We're opening the pool today. <laughs> oh, the Chichimino pool's ready to open up, baby. Get the margaritas ready. <laughs> and the freaking blow up the blow up the balls out there. <laughs> ready to go play some volleyball. You and Jess while she, All right. while she sits out. I'll you, make a creative edit here and keep this in. You'll Everybody will get to be a part of this. Yeah, she goes, we're not going to knock on the door because you got dogs. Dogs. You got dogs. I'm <laughs> okay. like, man, she's from, is she from Long Island? <laughs> I Jeez. love it. Pool's open in today, baby. Okay, so I'm sorry for interrupting you. Where were we? Okay, no problem. Uh, we were, uh, was that Jordan Walker oh, okay. I was talking about? Your hitting streak was how long? Oh, yeah, yeah, 21 games. So I have two moments I remember in the hitting streak. I think it was like at 14, 15 games. I was like, um, oh, no, it was probably even more. It was like 16 games. You know, you start getting a 20 as a player. Yeah. You're like, that's a lot of games to get hits in a row, like, yeah. even to get 10. But 20 games, you start seeing you know, it. was about 16 or 17, I believe. We're playing the Mets. No, no, no. We were home. We were home. Mm. I was 0 for 3 in the game. I came up for my last at bat in like the eighth. I think the game was out of reach. It was kind of a, you know, whatever. Dude, I lined one up the middle for a hit. <laughs> Line drive, and I'm like, yes. And like, whatever. And the game was 8 to 1 or whatever. But I was like, oh, that keeps it going. I was incredible. And then I remember also one other time. I don't know exactly when the streak was. I think it was right around 18, maybe a couple games later. It was like my second at bat, but it still count. You know, I hit a chopper in the hole, and Demetri Young was running. Uh, uh, and he kind of let it hit his foot. Oh. 
and pink. And so he was out, but I get a hit. Oh, so was wait, like, did he do it on purpose, you think? He did it on purpose. Yeah. Yes. That's, <laughs> Dimitri's the best, man. He's so, so Dimitri, funny. He kind of timed it perfect where he was running, and then it hit it, clipped his heel. But you could tell he put his heel that on. That is he was so running, cool. And it gave me the hit. So I'm like, yeah, I think I got another hit that game. But I know. But I remember when, when Dimitri got that, I was like, yes. Uh, I, you know <laughs> you know what's funny? My My – Sophomore going into junior year of high school when I was playing on like some half ass all American team in the summer, I had a 36 game hitting streak. Do you know that? Oh, wow, dude, that's legit. And you know what's weird? I was not hitting well at the time. So, like that year, so that year, I had one of my lowest batting averages in my really? through my high school years because f- during like the 36 game hit streak, I was going like one for four. You know, like, yeah, and had an but occasion, you were, but, but you were getting hits, though. but I was getting hits and it was not nearly the best yeah. streak I yeah. ever had in like my baseball career. It was like 36 game hitting streak. It was 270. It, yeah, it was. It was like really the weirdest thing that's ever happened to me in baseball because I did not feel good any yeah. day. Like I just I wasn't like and then the streak ended. And then I went on like, hot. and then, yeah. oh yeah, then I was going like, yeah, you can have an 0 for 4, but I was going like 3 for 4, 2 for 4, hitting homers right. and stuff. With some bombs. It was, yeah. a, it was a, it was like really kind of like the biggest like kind of mind blank, mind F to me yeah. of, of the whole time I was playing baseball. Yeah. Anyway. I've been there too. Like I've been there with like 10 game hitting streaks or like, oh, like 10 game hitting streak. You're like hitting 260. Isn't that weird? I'm hitting 260. Yeah. It's so weird yeah. how baseball works. That's what makes baseball That's why, great, but man. that's also, I always tell guys, that's why it's called an average. Mm. You're going to have your ups and your downs. Like you're going to get hot. You're going to get cold. But at the end, your averaging, you know, will be whatever. But the your back damage of your numbers, baseball card, your damage no numbers never go anywhere. That's true. You're hitting homers. You're hitting RBIs. They don't leave. They don't, you know, they, they, they just, they just go up. Your, yeah. your average kind of goes up and down. Yeah. Wasn't there somebody that pulled you aside one day and were, and basically told you you're going to hit 300 when you were in hitting 300. Yeah, remember. Pete Harnish in the Harnish. shower. Buck, buck in naked. the shower. In a, in, a, in a handstand with his hands, <laughs> with his legs up on the wall while the shower's going into his butt. He's looking over at me going, hey, bro, back of the baseball card doesn't lie. What'd you hit last year? I'm like, 330. I'm like, why are you talking? Why are you talking to me while you're in a full buck naked handstand in the shower? Why are you giving me uh, Tony Robbins advice right now? I don't know what the hell's going on here. He's like, you tell you what, three thirty goes. What are you hitting now? I go one seventy. He goes. He goes. He goes. Well, that means you're about to hit. You're about to hit four twenty because the back of the baseball card doesn't lie. Now <laughs> pass me the soap. <laughs> <laughs> that dude is one of the greatest characters ever. Oh my god, one of the great dude. Like I said, that was like, for for me. That was some of the greatest advice ever because I was. Yeah. Like, I think I was like depressed at the time. I was so bad. Yeah. Like, like, and then he was like, and it's true. I ended up hitting three twenty that year. Yeah, I get it. Hey, how about uh, Ryan Montcastle, uh, nine RBIs? What's the most oh, RBIs Ryan you've Montcastle, ever had? Dude, that, that guy could hit, too. I think most I ever had in the biggies was six. Six RBIs? or seven. Six or seven. I think it's six, though. But that's unbelievable. Nine RBIs. How about Bay um, with the uh, – not Jason Bay. Right. Um, um, with, the, with the Pirates last night, um, G1 Bay. Yes. Went Walk deep. Off. To, Walk off against the Astros. That was yeah. a nice little little touch. Buckos. Um, there's also too, bro. Did you see the um, our boy Mark Shapiro did some unbelievable things with that stadium? Did you see the new? That's why. That's changes? I, I meant to bring that up. That's why Dude. they've been on the road this whole time. I've been told. That's why what? Oh, they started. Okay, okay. Remember yesterday we were like, why the hell are they? Oh, <laughs> they just okay, the only why. team okay. that hasn't played at home yet. I think it had something to do with Finishing their advance and advancements they've made. To that ballpark. I didn't see what happened. What did they do exactly? Oh, dude, it's so beautiful. The bullpens are now in right. Mm-hmm. Like, so they did. So there's the walls in, and then the bullpens are out there. And the wall goes, you know, it used to be just all the way around. Now, yeah. it like, it's like the nice parks and angles. It, it, some parts of it are higher, lower. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. And Kiermaier Rob robs a home run too. in the new yeah. stadium. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty. Dude, I, I don't think there's a better outfield defense. In the big leagues. Good call. Kiermaier, Varsho, and Springer, they're all center fielders. And they cover yeah. so much ground. So, so much ground. That's a great, you know, yeah. listen, they're fired up about that. I think, Although, by the way, I think I have told this Kiermaier story about maybe months or years ago on this on this show. We're 251 episodes in, you know. We, we talk yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, well, let's go. One of the coolest things, Kiermaier, I think he was a, in his second year, but he was starting to, you know, first of all, the ladies like his, his baby blues, just like Sean Casey. 
He's right, pop. Right. He's popular with the ladies, Kiermaier. He's a good-looking <laughs> man. But he, is. Uh, he was supposed to come on Intentional Talk, and Millar comes in, and Millar was in the studio that day, and he's like, hey, Kiermaier's canceling. And we were like, what? Why? What the hell? And he goes, nope, it's good. He didn't call him. Um, Evan Longoria called Millar and was like, hey, just so you know, we're canceling. And he goes, and it's a really good thing. Millar's like, what do you mean? It's a good thing. You're canceling on my show. You know, Millar being Millar, having fun with him. Right. And he goes, no, dude. He was, Kiermaier was struggling at the plate. And he was like hitless in his last like six games or something. I think he made an error like a couple days before. And he's like, I, I, I can't I can't walk out there and have you guys see me joking around on intentional talk when I'm not contributing enough to this team right now. And we basically spent the entire A block of the show that day talking about how much we loved how awesome he Kevin, is. Kevin Kiermaier <laughs> for canceling on us. Like, that's the kind of guy he is. He's, he's a leader, man. He's been around. That's awesome. It's funny how long he's been there. You think he's still, he still looks like the bright eyed, bushy tailed kid, but he's been in the league for what, eight, 10 Dude, years? Oh, no, at least 10 years. Yeah. One of the best and, center and, fielders and, and, in and the game. He, he's a winner. You know, he's, he plays incredible defense. He's a great player. He's not going to, you know, he's not going to be a game-changing bat, but he's still a good enough hitter. Could be a game. He's a game-changing defender, though. Game-changing defender, exactly. Mm-hmm. He's a game-changing game-changing defender. I was saying, making that point about Key Brian Hayes the other day for third baseman for the uh, mm. for the Pirates. That somebody asked me on a radio show, Mark Madden. He's like, "Hey, listen." He's like, "You know, he's got eight years, seventy million, which is a lot of money around here in Pittsburgh." Yeah. And like, yeah. you know, is, that, is he going to live up? Is he going to be a superstar? Live up to that contract? I said, I don't think he's going to be a superstar player. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to be a superstar third baseman. I think he's going to be the best third baseman yeah. in baseball. Him and Arenado are the best right now. I mean, he's going to win Gold Gloves. He's going to justify the contract because of the defense he plays. Some guys are elite at the defensive level, Dude, level that it justifies that that kind of money. I got a name for you right now that you, is very similar, very similar in the infield as we were just talking about those guys in the outfield. Uh, Dude, Gio Urshela, Urshela oh. makes some of the most amazing defense. He made a play the other night, and I was like, and I, you know, he was on the Yankees for a couple of years, so I got to watch him more yeah. than most guys. That dude is again everything you just said about those guys, like justifying contract. You put Gio Urshela, or you know, Arenado, Arenado only has to hit, if he hit 15 home runs a year, he would still save 60 runs a game. Like exactly, defense he, he, is big, man. It's really big, and and you know, people say it all the time. You win with pitching and defense. You, you don't keep giving. You can't give extra outs in the big leagues. In the big leagues, if you're given an, if you're if you're not making plays you should make, or making errors that you shouldn't make, and you're giving four, you know, four outs to the big, they will make you pay. They will absolutely. You will eventually you pay. pay, dude. You you cannot do that at the big league level, and that's why they yeah. say pitching and defense wins championships. So when I look at that team now with in Toronto. Ross Atkins did a great job of going out and getting Kiermaier, trading for Varsho, putting Springer uh, out of center field so he could take care of his body and not get hurt and stay in the lineup. So it's that. a more balanced lineup now having uh, Varsho and Kiermaier being the, the two lefty sticks. I agree. And also, by the way, in this day and age, you're talking about that extra out. In this day and age, it's all about pitch counts and how much they're pitching and knocking mm-hmm. three times through their line- lineup. That extra out, and then maybe they get a run, that's two more batters that your pitcher's going to face, and then you just screwed up your entire bullpen in in, in yep. this analytical age of, of pitching. You know, great point, great point. Thanks. Great I've been making point. a couple good points this, this week. Dude, you've really been locked in with your points. Yeah, what is that? Oh, yesterday, I, I I listened to our show yesterday. Really yeah, because good point. you really you really know baseball, and you know, and now you're talking about it, and you're really good at it. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> just what it Thanks. turns out. I appreciate that. All right, what Dude, else how about got? this really quick? I think we have to touch on this because. This is ridiculous. I didn't even know this was happening. Otani last night he improves to two and zero with a point four seven ERA this year. Twenty four punch outs in nineteen innings through three starts. Um, I can't believe that. Yeah, he lost that game two one that one game. He or he's he didn't lose. About he the didn't. twelve walks that he's had so far. He's also <sighs> hitting three hundred <laughs> with a with a nine. Nine of the 980 OPS with three bombs, two doubles, and eight ribbies in 11 games. If wow. they let this guy play the outfield deal, he'd be the best outfielder in the game. Seriously. I, I bet if he played third base, he'd be the best third base. I bet dude. if he played basketball, he'd be the best basketball player. <laughs> he would be, dude. He if wouldn't. he played Tetris, he'd be the best Tetris player. <laughs> He's incredible. the best athlete in our on our planet right now. I'm dude. surprised. Dude, hey, I got one for you. Where's yeah. his... You know that air? I can't wait to watch Air, the Michael Jordan movie. I hear. Oh it's yeah, with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Yeah. How come there's no? How come we're not seeing Bo Nose with Otani right now? 
How come not? We're not seeing like the Air Jordans with Otani right now. He should be on every commercial. How come well, we don't? Dude, see- I think he's making thirty five million dollars off the field this year with like New Balance or something. How come I don't see the commercials on here? The Air I'm New a- Balances. I don't. Air- know. I, I think I want a good yeah. Otani. Uh, like, yeah, let's yeah, put a pro- yeah. project together. I, should we dude, call him? Yeah, like, let's get his agent on the phone. <laughs> See if we can represent him with a, with a new uh, <laughs> commercial. You're right, dude. We're like Otani, what yeah. would his what would his uh, what would his, his line oh, be like? This Bo is nose, fun. Otani. Air Jordan, like oh, Tani. I don't know the O Tani's. <laughs> no, the O Tani's. No. Or you can make a cereal called O Tani's and oh, make them like Cheerios. Yeah, the, dude, the, I bet you that if you made a cereal called O Tani's, <laughs> it would be so delicious. <laughs> it's like the O's. Remember, remember the, remember the, uh, remember those O's? They were good, like Kellogg O's. Yes, cereals? I do remember. It what was like a cross now, between take... Frosted Flakes and Cheerios. I do remember oh, yes. those. Yes. <laughs> so what you what you do now is you take the O Tawnies is in cereal, you, and you put obviously they're shaped like an O, <laughs> and then you have marshmallows, <laughs> marshmallows. That is him pitching. Oh, or no, and wait, what go, if wait, what if you do no, two no, marshmallows him pitching and him hitting? Yeah, are the marshmallows. And the O Tawnies. And yes, I agree. And the pitching one could be in, in like home colors. So like the pitching Otani uh, marshmallow is, 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 is red. Is red. And, or something. And, or white. Or is white, white. Is white. And uh, the hitting one is red. <laughs> I think we figured it out, We dude. figured it out, dude. O Tawnies. Why don't we start a cereal called the O Tawnies? Yeah. Everybody, I'm going to give that patent today. So don't go stealing that <laughs> idea. Dude, I'm not kidding you. I just heard I just heard Master <laughs> P. I just heard Master P on uh Ed Milet's podcast. What by the way, if you haven't listened to that, go listen to that ASAP. So good. Yeah. Talks about his the business he's did. He just started a uh a new Snoop Dogg cereal. He just started a cereal cereal company what? with post with Snoop Dogg. There's a lot of money in cereal, dude. So we could <laughs> I'm not kidding. The old Tawnies. We you're you be millionaires. You just froze, by the way. Oh, you're back. Hey, what's your go-to cereal right now? If you're gonna have cereal today, I don't eat cereal. But if I did, if I did, if I did have cereal, it would be. Uh, God, I used to love cereal. That's great. Um, Why don't you uh, eat it? There's some healthy cereal. I, I love cereals Frosted now. Flakes, dude. Uh, I mean, that just, was that's my all time. Give me like Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes are incredible. One of the worst ones um, for you, but yeah uh you know fruit loops touch my heart because you know back when i was a kid <laughs> we'd go to the beach and my my parents would get you the little boxes like all right oh, a the little boxes oh, the 12 the packs Shore. yeah you get the 12 packs and you're eating oh, yeah. corn pops yeah oh, corn pops. Oh, everybody out there listen tell us what your favorite cereal is we yeah because yeah, yeah. dude i would cr- i would go right into the corn pops problem was that my mom would bring that thing out the first day where they would be all be gone like that 10 day boxes yeah down what was Diggum? What was the one? Honey, honey combs. Honey combs big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not small. No, no, no. Honey I was a big. Uh, I was big, into big Count Chocula. I like. Oh, Count Chocula. How about that brand? They had Count Chocula, Count Chocula, Booberry, and what was the main one? Um, Lucky Charms. Well, luck, Lucky Charms. By the way, Dude. some of these cereals aren't as bad for you as when we were kids nowadays. Jess is into cereal. Yeah. They right are now, here's what yeah, we got. No, that's not. That's not. That's All not. Those aren't facts. Those what about facts. what about Honey true. Nut Cheerios? That's good for heart health. I, I read on the box. No. No. You say eliminate cereal. all cereals. cereals. Are just the grains are not good. I, but, that, but no, let's not. Let's not bag cereals. Let's go back to the good thing about cereals. <laughs> Cereals were the best, one of the best things ever for me as a kid. I just, and it was like the late night snack. You'd be playing Nintendo with your buddies, like, dude, you want some cereal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Great. And you get the, remember when, uh, um, Captain, Captain Crunch Berries, when Captain, when the Crunch Berries came out. Yes. Yes. Captain Crunch Berries, those things were incredible too. <laughs> but they, then they would, they would rip up the roof of your mouth where like, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. you were in pain for like a week because you're yeah. like, oh like eating God, a Dorito. Rudy Pebbles. I think Fruity Pebbles were my go-to. Fruity oh, Pebbles no. were my favorite because then chocolate, you can drink the just the, and chocolate pebbles. Yeah, that, oh cocoa pebbles. Cocoa pebbles, cocoa pebbles. Yeah. Those things are incredible. Did you like? Wait, what else do we have here right now? Apple Jacks just has in there right now. Oh, I like Apple Jacks. Um, Apple Jacks. Raisin Baron Crunch. That's not healthy. It's raisins. It's bran. No, but it's good. They're good. Why is They're it good. bad for you? You're the health guy. I don't know. Just go look at the ingredients. <laughs> it's like a chemical project. What's well, not like, like? Why is it's not why like a bowl that? of like. Uh, I don't know, 
Andy's candies. It's, it's grains and oats. I don't know where I pulled Andy's candies from just now. That's a gram. That's in your grandparents' house. You get the Andy's candies in a bowl. Dude, I would get the. I would get. I try and get the fake. Uh, oh yeah, that, those Andy's candies. The boy you walk in, yeah, those are the yeah, Those are so good. Oh you walk God. into grandma's house and just rock, <laughs> grab like four, and throw them in the car. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. So true, dude. Yeah, you can't wait to get there. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna eat all these, and you eat all of them. All of them. You Your grandma's the like, what the hell? You ate all the Andy's candies. Like, yeah, you Thanks, look like grandma. Veruca Salt from yeah. like. Uh... I'll see you later. I'll see you later. <laughs> anyway. Oh Dude, you know what I used to crush really quick? What's that? What was your go-to going to the movies? Did you go to the movies when you were a kid? What was your go-to? Candy. Or candy? Candy? Well, there's always popcorn. You got to do the popcorn. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, care how much butter that's you do it all. Um, I am. Uh, I like the Reese's Pieces. Yeah, that wasn't my go-to, but I like them too. I like Twizzlers at a movie theater because I can mm. take my time with them. <laughs> what do you get with yours after this? Dude, I, I, used to, I used to love you get lemon heads. Oh, I, used, I don't like anything I sour. Get, dude, I used to get, I used to get so pissed. You get that big lemon head box, and you open it up, and there's a bag the size of a freaking <laughs> like big. you know, yeah. two inches. You're like, okay, yeah. they're ripping me off. You yeah. know, this is ridiculous. This is blatantly ripping me off. So when I used to go. There was this South Hills Village right across the from the movie theater. Did you bring a Ziploc bag, bro? No, not a Ziploc bag. <laughs> it's only for wings on Monday night at Ground Round. Dude, I'd go get freaking like a pound of lemon heads for like the same amount I'm getting in this box. The okay. movies. Put them in my pants. You know, stick them in your pants as you walk. <laughs> oh, and bring them into the movie. Theater. I bring them into the movie. Incredible. Uh, we used to sneak I must have, snick I must have been, I, I Also, last thing about the movies. I got one last thing to on it, too. Recently, we were in the front row watching the movie. We got the kids, you know, and somebody starts pelting us with <laughs> popcorn. No, no, with like uh, Sour Patch Kids. I, I get oh, wrapped. Oh, what? I'm like, all right. You know, kind of turn around and look, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You know, and I'm like, all right, dude. Yep. You know, so I think I stood up. I was like, bro, enough with the hitting pa- uh, pelting us with Sour Patch Kids, you know, like and the, the kids got all nervous. You know, but, but I remember thinking to myself, ah, I think I might have done that every once in once in, every you know, to once somebody in. else. Oh, I absolutely yeah, I've done, done that. that when I people. was like a teenager every oh, once in a while, especially to the kids who are like making out in the front. Yeah, just yeah, throw yeah, it in yeah, between. Yeah, that's not cool, though. Don't do that. That's not don't cool. Do that. And then when it happens to you as an adult, you're like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, you like come on, patch clean kids it up. Raising nets. I had a uh, real quick. The uh, <laughs> my friend Chris, we, we used to sneak in like a six pack of beer. So stupid, man. Kids, six so pack of beer. Six pack of beer, and we'd each have two <laughs> during the movies. Me and my two friends, Chris and <laughs> Nick. And this Jeez. one time, Chris goes to put his. He just goes to like put his empty beer down, and we're like twenty five rows up, and he just starts going. And everybody's like looking around, like, "What's that noise? What's that noise?" It's going, going, going. Bam! Explodes on that. Like, you know, there's like that little front podium. Oh. And it explodes. And everybody's like, what the hell? What's happening? Who did that? Whatever. The kids were coming in with the, you know, those yeah, yeah, those dudes at work. They got yeah, the yeah. flashlights. Like, Who's this? <laughs> we're just sitting there like that. Anyway. I think it's dude, a- dude, speaking of flashlights, we went to we went to the, um, uh, oh, oh my, my brick guy's here. Okay, brother, I got to go. I love you. Oh, do you? Hang on a second. Hang on really quick. Hang on. Well, I- Wait, actually, I gotta go too. I gotta go find out if I have another job. All right, well, hang on one second. I need to get Jim real quick. Okay. Sorry, brother. That's right. My man, my man Jim Walnoa, the best fireplace guy around. Let me nice. give him a pub. All right. Pub's right here. So to recap uh, the day, okay. you got your fireplace okay. guy. I got my pool, yes. pool guys coming today. You got your pool guy coming. Yeah. We talked a little bit of baseball. The biggest things that came out of today were we got the Otanis. We're going to come up with the cereal. The Nobody Otani else is allowed to cereal. do cereal. What's yep. your favorite cereal? Everyone wants to know. Yeah. I think those are, I, I'm not kidding you, dude. Someone's going to steal this from us, the Otanis. There's no dude, doubt. Dude, if that happens, I'm That makes suing. so much sense. Marshmallows with a hitter Red and, and white marshmallows, pitching and hitting. And, and O's. The O. Yeah, the O's. Damn it. All right. I got to go find out if I still have a job. Should we put this episode out there? Maybe we should even Maybe put this episode out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to get the patent pending and I'll put it into our, our, our blurb <laughs> today <laughs> before we go. All right, brother. Have All an right, awesome bro. day. All right, Chidge. You have a great day. Good luck with the pool, man. Thanks, man. See, See you, buddy.